welcome Mr. Jay Dar. If you are thinking about applying everywhere AI, that's not going to be really transformative. Is there a need for AI in everywhere? What is that use case we want to solve? That's where the challenge comes in, in terms of solving that use case, not everywhere. So we have to walk backwards. What is that use case we want to solve? We can come to the point, this is where I think AI will be transformative. And that's where the exploration of or discovery phase will come into place. What is that business case you want to solve for? Now, why we are saying PCs? Uh, PCs for business success or PCs for business innovation? Because everywhere, I think I told you, our business starts with a laptop or a small smartphone, anything that is endpoint. Endpoint is a mobile phone, a laptop, a could be a pad or something. If we are not innovating ourselves with the endpoints, I think there is a high possibility we are not adopting ourselves to the new demands of the customers. We are staying far behind. Start with your PCs, the endpoints. That's where you need to start. How to ensure that your business is running securely and your smart devices are giving you those wings which will help you succeed in your business. You might have used one of the Dell devices, it might be called as Latitude or it might be called as, uh, what is that, Optiplex or maybe a workstation you might have used, Precision, what we call it. In manufacturing sector it is quite prominent. But Dell has unified its entire branding structure, made it very simple for us, so three brand three basically prominent segments within Dell, entire PC portfolio, which is called Dell, Dell Pro, and Dell Pro Max. I think every segment has a significance for your business. Dell Pro, it is a professional grade laptop. And within Dell Pro as well, we have different varieties in terms of our systems, which can help you address your business. What is the use case you want to solve it to Dell Pro Max, which is a professional grade at the same time, heavy workload, web applications, it can sustain that. So within, I am just going to focus primarily on Dell Pro. We can definitely look at Dell Pro Max, but uh, the, my colleague would be definitely covering that in detail. What are the different features, what we can bring in, but I'll be covering primarily on Dell Pro. Dell Pro has again different versions within it. So it might be a little complicated, but let's look at it in this way. So in case you are a business user and you need the professional grade laptop. That's where the Dell Pro can fit in. Dell Pro Premium is a little bit of high mobility and high uh, workload basis, what we can call it. And Dell Pro Plus, again business, and it's a collaboration uh, and uh, AI PC is what we can call it. And Dell Pro is a baseline laptop and durably and secure as well. That's the laptop, what we can call it. And Dell Pro Essential is the newest launch. We launched it on August 29th of this year. Really business uh, ready laptop, what we have to offer in the market. And this, I will cover it in the subsequent slides, but I'm, I'm not gonna comment on Dell Pro Essential at this point. But again, Dell Pro Premium, Dell, we have different specs within that. So Dell Pro Premium uh, uh, comes with 13 and 14 inches, Dell Pro, 13, 14, and 16, and Dell Pro 14 and 16, and Dell Pro 14 and 15. So it depends. It's not like one size fits all. I was talking about the Dell Pro Essential laptop. I think we have uh, launched it on August 29th. And this is the most affordable laptop uh, in the market. It starts from 31999 plus taxes. Uh, and I think if you look at Dell as a brand, we have been consistently number one for last five years as a startup came into the market and we are right now a company of $100 billion and we are doing that business over a period of time and get that trust from our customers to do that. And with that journey, I think Intel has a primary partnership in that and they have been in partnership with us for quite some time and we are together coming up into the market with multiple solutions, multiple innovations, which will solve a lot of business cases for our customers. Now Dell Pro 14 and 15 Essential is 
uh, it's a professional grade laptop and uh, basically it's not an AI PC, let me call you that. And I will explain what is the AI PC and what is a conventional PC or a non-AI PC. But it is not an AI PC. It is solving the day-to-day -day business needs for your business. Need for AI that can be scaled up with multiple options what we have. Dell Pro Max with other accessories what we have or the uh, devices what we have that can help you do that as well. And it is 10 hours battery time and it's a military grade tested laptop what we are, have to offer. Name companies like Infosys, those are the companies who have procured from us and they have seen that it is a laptop to give them success in terms of what they have, uh, they have to offer to their employees for better productivity. It provides an overall experience for your employees starting from a laptop. It could be a monitor, it could be a key mouse or keyboard or a wireless headset or webcam or Ecoloop backpack. So if you look at the entire accessories along with the laptop, that comes as a desk for your employees. But everybody is thinking about, okay, there is a lot of good investment. But I always look at what is the short term gain versus long term return. Uh, I would look at it in that way how you are enabling or giving the right tools for your employees to gain that productivity. From the conventional PC, because we are putting it on the, on the CPU, will be quite immense. The workloads, what AI will generate, running multiple uh, SLMs, it cannot process it. So why, why we have a N NPU, that will process much faster way and that will give us that speed or acceleration or momentum when we're looking at in our, in our current portfolio maybe in your employees where we're using the conventional or any of the pcs which is uh, looking at a conventional pc but what the industry is looking ahead is if you look at 98 percent 98 percent yeah 98 percent by 2028 98 percent of the pcs will be ai pcs because there is a workload which will be needed by all of your employees to use that. And when I call about AI PCs, uh, AI PCs comes with different uh, operations for trillion operations per second, 20 tops, 40 tops. Now, a lot of uh, other companies also have come 50 tops as well. But generally 20 tops and 40 tops is what we're looking at. Uh, but that's 40 tops plus is a co-pilot plus PC. 20 tops and above is a AI PCs in the current era. But again, it, it depends on what operations or what is the use case we want to solve it. Dell, it's not an AI PC, let me call you that. Dell Pro 14 and 16 and Dell Pro Premium and those are the AI PCs and co-pilot, if you look at it, Dell Pro 13 and 14 Premium, those are the co-pilot PCs. Uh, and uh, other ones like high performance AI PC is Dell Pro Max, which I was talking about. And this comes with various versions and various specs. And if you look at this is our entire portfolio, we are not limiting ourselves to only a PC. We have different solutions for you, for your business needs. It could be starting with the uh, endpoint device to IT services to endpoint sustainability. Everything what we have to offer in the market is, it's not a solution to offer, basically satisfying or resolving any of your business needs what you have. One vendor to solve everything for you. So you don't have to look at multiple vendors to solve your business challenges or what you're going through. So we do have the modern workplace which will evolve around our AI pieces plus accessories. And modern data center and multi-cloud, when I talk about it, the, the servers and storage solutions what we have. Artificial intelligence is, Dell has pioneered in terms of coming up to the market with the artificial intelligence solutions or supporting businesses to scale their uh, businesses. And security and resilience and sustainability, we, we have kept a goal for us in terms of being a sustainable company and reducing the carbon footprint. And also security is primary concern for us when it comes to whether it, it is a endpoint device or whether it's a storage or server solutions what we have to offer. I'd like to welcome on this stage Mr. Shushil Lavania. On a transformation at, this, at the peak of the time, we must say 
day in day out we talk about ai 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 yeah we talk about ai but the ai also brings lot of responsibility on us ki how we can use in the best way and how also protect our also our organization our people our children from the cons of this technology we our friendship our collaboration our technology is th- is the thing which brings our leadership always on a techno- technology front we always bring the new new products new new technology to the to our customers making our customers great their experience is great and make a value addition into it so that today's agenda is uran so how it brings uran to uran to msme uh, showed the importance of the msme to india's uh, gdp and other sector too so uran will bring to you how by two things which i feel so might be it's have different thought process of experience learning plus technology the technology always evolve the technology always change and we have to adapt it about the pc pc the portfolio we have the core ultra series and the use cases how the uh, ai will bring changes in our life so the forecast of this as my colleague also shared the ai will be around to you and in if we going into the 2026 all the pcs and intel road map is all on ai in the future you will see all the products are enabled with ai pc only the series will we have that all brings with the ai only thing into the ai pc at intel we think it's the biggest change in personal computing for 20 years here's why ai software is enabling a wave of new experiences from video and image editing to music creation and productivity assistance experiences that are large and complex running in the cloud resulting in latency and higher costs so intel is working with the world's best software developers to make ai faster and easier ai pc helps give you control of your privacy and ai experiences even without an internet connection at the heart of an ai pc you'll find our intel core ultra processor specifically designed to optimize the efficiency and performance of AI software by splitting tasks between a CPU, ideal for quick lightweight tasks, a GPU that makes easy work of heavy AI workloads, and an NPU, a purpose-built AI accelerator that efficiently runs sustained workloads. An Intel Core Ultra processor in your AI PC will deliver enhanced experiences. A single line of text will prompt your computer to create music, art, emails. Image and video editing will be accelerated. Your productivity assistant will automate transcriptions, calendar management, and meeting notes. And you'll feel more secure knowing that cyber threats can be detected in new and advanced ways. Most importantly, these revolutionary new AI capabilities and experiences can all happen right on your computer on your Intel Core Ultra enabled AI PC. Learn more about how Intel is bringing these new experiences to the AI PC. Go to intel.com/ai PC. Then now it brings to a NPU also. The what the, what this NPU help? You are using a day to day many ISV any uh, many softwares like what Teams you are using. You are using a Zoom. You are using a videos. You are using a Excel. In in a row, you will open many windows in your laptop. Now the laptop has also to understand ki what kind of a thing I have to run and in how much time I have response to it. So these neural processing unit, this computer now has their own intelligence to divide this workload into CPU, GPU, and NPU. So this will help and enhance your working speed. It will also enhance your battery life. Level first one is cloud and second one is client cloud machines you are using grok you are using chat gpt you are using gemini these all are the things which you have on a cloud and you have to be very cautious ki it is only the thing which will help or enhance your work experience not likewise ki you will put the data to the chat gpt and in response to that it will be shared a few days back also you have heard ki chat gpt has now says ki we will not share any data to google kind of so we have to be very cautious while using this cloud all kind of a uh, facilities that we have available now moving to a client machine tell ai playground you can search on a youtube also you to google also the this is a off, offline tool even when you, what you need to use you, you need to be have a network but intel ai playground when you use you need not to have a 
network. This is the beauty of this. Your data will never be compromised with any of the available things. So you can search on, you can use the Intel AI Playground, but this is always be supported by, always be supported by our Core Ultra series of the processors. So ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce our expert of this session, Ms. Darshna Thakkar. Uh, we have a very wonderful session uh, by Mr. Jay and Sushil about technology. Intel, Dell, CPU, GPU, NPU. So our business that we have to understand now. How we can correlate this technology with our business operation. How many of you think that we are having too much manual work in our business? 2000 to 2020 computer was part of the business but still as an MSME we are so much reluctant to adopt the technology 